gonna take one of these. This is the extra episode, baby. This is where we let loose. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I should start it. She only want me for my pimp juice. I'm talking my pimp juice. I'm talking your pimp juice. Now I think I need to let it loose. Let it lose, let it lose. Hey, guy, are you recording? Yeah, we started. Okay, okay, okay. I did. I was like, wait, I'm gonna yeah. intro this the whole damn thing. The singing was not for nothing. All right, cool. Hey, guys, welcome to the extra episode, the micro transaction. How are you all doing? My favorite people on the planet. All ten of you. I love you. Ivan was supposed to be a patron already, and he's not. So if you're watching this. And you know Ivan, Ivan sucks. Wow. All right, that is the firm stance that we are having right now. Until he becomes a patron, oh, honestly, practically dead to me. My goodness, it, 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 practically dead. Yet you work with him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, I work with him all the time. Um, right. We're not in the same departments, but we're in a different place. Uh, but uh, he can still uh, die in a fire right now, as of right now. And Ivan, you gotta um, get some, that dollar in. Yeah, yeah, he's at least gotta get that dollar. I'm like, you can't have a dollar? I saw this man buy pence. Man pence. can't buy, buy, buy. Bro, Pence are way more than a dollar. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, wow, you can't support your friends? You're a shitty friend. All right, so Ivan somehow sees this someday, and he's like, hey, whoa, they're talking about me. And he's like, wow, he wants me to die in a fire? Yes, because also, sidebar, I had a dream that Ivan died at work. And I had to break the sister to his. I had to break the news to his sister, but I didn't. I told her husband, and he did it. But then I had to tell Andreas, <laughs> and not a lot happened in the dream, but it was a lot of tones. You know when people like the first day someone dies, it's just like that whole day's fucking weird. Right. It's like oh shit, I'm trying to like live my normal life, but a human is no longer exists that once was. My reality is legitimately different now. Yeah. So it was like that sense of what was happening. Whoa. Yeah, it was a very weird... My dreams are very... I don't have a lot of dreams, but they're they're fucking nuts. Like, I have superpowers and shit like that. I've talked about it with you, I think. Yeah, yeah. When I told you, yeah. And it's just nuts. Anyway. It's funny, because I didn't know my dreams were as crazy as they were, actually, until I became uh, friends with Andreas. And he's like, I never have dreams like that. I was like, I thought everyone had dreams like that. And then I started asking people about their dreams. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, no, I'm fucking crazy. (laughs) <laughs> well, I, I did a quick Google search because I, I like to look up this stuff. So, death of a loved one. Uh, you'd could, would you consider I, I've been a loved one if he if he if he donated a dollar to the Patreon? Uh, then would you? Okay, cool. So we'll call him maybe, a, maybe, maybe. We'll hypothetically call him a loved one. All right. Mm-hmm. And so, death of your loved one in your dream indicates that this particular quality that you possess is being transformed in some way. That was a lot of nothing. Yeah, I, I expected more bang for my buck when I was reading that, and so I didn't read it before I said it. <laughs> and now that I said it, I regret it. I'm like, man, I could have probably did a lot more. I probably, I could have probably made something on the fly better than that. Wow. Oh, thank that... you. I feel like you just read me my astrology chart. Yeah. Sorry for wasting like, hey, time. Guess... <laughs> like, hey, oh it's funny because you let it up, and I thought it was gonna be way more profound than it was gonna I be. Expected I expected like... it too. Dude, I was just like, oh, I'm ready to fucking take this one on. I'm Googling it. You know, hard-hitting research. You know, hard-hitting reporting. <laughs> and, uh, you know, then all of a sudden just turns into just bullshit journalism. Like, oh, man. My God. Uh, this was, this, was, this was, must be what everybody at Kotaku feels like. <laughs> oh, come that's on. Go, no, that's messed up. Uh, well, they the, try not hey, to. They'll know if they pay a dollar. <laughs> That is very true. Anyway, so liquid. So the thing is, I'm going to say we're shifting gears, but the thing is we're getting zany. And I wanted to do something a little different this week. Ooh. Usually we just play fast and lose some of the extra episode because we're just a, boys, a couple boys hanging out. But I want to keep that same energy boys hanging out, right? Sure. By deciding, asking you a question, which Sex in the City character are you liquid? I'm going to ask you some questions and we're going to get to the bottom of this, okay? Which Sex in the City character are you? Because I, I don't know any of the Sex and the City characters. Well, I know there's... That's, I know. Okay. I know. That's what makes it I'm, perfect. I'm going to go gonna... with the one with the big nose, Sarah Jessica Parker. We're going to go with big nose over here. That's the yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know character. that. We don't we don't know that yet. Oh, oh wait. Great. So this is like a test. You're going to ask... Oh, I see. My apologies. I'm way ahead. 
I'm sh- wow, holy crap. Sorry. I'm not here right no, now. It, I'm back in there. No, I'm, I'm here now. So the questions, <laughs> we're going to figure out which Sex and City character I am. Okay, now, yes. you see, you see. first I was interested, you know, and I was like, I don't know what you're getting at, but like now you have full-blown attention. Let's fucking go, baby. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, okay, pick one of Carrie's love interests. Mr. Big, Ooh. Eden Shaw, Jack Berger, Ber- I don't know, or, oh my god, this is a name I can't even be, Ale- Alexandra Petrovsky. Hmm. Sounds Russian. I would imagine. Um, dude, you know what? You know, ugh. call me old fashioned, but I'm gonna go with the old, with with Mr. Big. It, it's straight to the point, right? It's Mr. Big. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm such a slut. Let's go. You're such a slut. All right. What's the city of your dreams? Paris, London, Vienna, Dubai, Tokyo, Mumbai. Amsterdam, New York City, or Berlin? I want to throw a little liquid n- knowledge in here. So uh, I'm a huge fan of video games. So we're going to go with Tokyo. Stay, let's stick with Japan, you know? Pick one of Miranda's love interests. Steve Brady, Dr. Robert Leeds, Weight Watchers guy, Skipper Johnson. Ooh, Skipper Johnson sounds cool, but I'm going to go... Let's play it safe. We're going to go Doctor. I want to go with the Doctor. What was his name? Doctor something? Robert Leeds. Doctor Robert Leeds. That's, yeah, we'll stick with Doctor. You know, I, makes me feel safe. Makes me feel like, uh, you know, I'm uh, being uh, taken care of. A little security. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. Right. Yeah. Uh, what's your style like? Is it classic, boho, preppy, romantic, goth, mod... Vintage, all black earth thing, whatever. Ooh, this one's a tough one. I didn't expect this one really separates the men from the boys. Um, it's not boho. It really does. <laughs> it's not boho, that's for sure. And it's not going to be goth. I don't really do too much of that. Um, what was the first one you said? Because it was either preppy or the first one. What did you say the first one was? Classy. Classic. Oh, classic. Now, what does classic mean, though? Like it's not your style. Let's then it's the, not your style. We'll go with a little bit of preppy then. I'll, I'll stick with preppy. Mm-hmm. In this universe, I'm preppy. I, I want to say that you are Spanish preppy. Okay, cool. I'll take. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck does that now, mean, Chris? Oh, uh, that means you Spanish preppy. Okay, that, 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 do, you, do you want me to say no, that? No, please. Right, this, yeah, please. At right. every family event, you are wearing a button-up long sleeve shirt with a little pattern design and some safe slacks slash jeans. Okay, I gotcha. That okay, I see what you're saying. I see I'm thinking of my everyday attire. You're talking about like my mm-hmm. formal event attire kind of thing. Like that's what like yeah, what yeah, tank tops don't count as a fashion thing. That's what okay. you wear at home. Like. Yeah. At home, uh, now at the we're... gym, at the grocery store, everywhere, Chris. I wear I wear them everywhere. Yeah, I guess you're fucking right, Doug. Pick one of Charlotte's love interests. We have Trey McD- McDoll McDonald? I don't know, McDoll. Okay. Uh Harry Goldenblatt. Stefan, or yeah, Stefan the Chef, or Ned. You know what? I like to eat. We're gonna go with Stefan the Chef. No, oh, Stefan the Chef. Which TV show would you marathon on a night in? Ooh. Crown, Thirteen Reasons Why, Friends, The Walking Dead, Four Weddings, Top Chef, Stranger Things, The Simpsons, or Sex and the City. Ooh, there were some good ones in there. Some not so good. I feel like, but. Um, mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the one that I actually go with normally, and it's like I'm gonna tell everybody right now. So before I go to bed, I have a little routine. I get on YouTube on my phone, turn on the TV. I don't watch much TV, but I still turn it on in the background. I need the noise. And what do I put on? It's Friends. Let's go with Friends. I did not know that about you. Yeah, dude, I love me some Friends, dude. bro. There's so many episodes that I could just like recite of Friends with how much I've watched of Friends, bro. Like, when you don't have cable, and you have UPN 44, and they're playing Friends pretty regularly, you start remembering shit, like, a lot of it, you know what I'm saying? And then you start watching it at Nick at night, and, like, same thing with Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. It's the same thing for me. It's funny, because that's where also where I saw um, all my friends on yeah. UPN 44. That's what got me started. I'm like, bro, I didn't give a shit about Friends until I lost cable, and then it was just like, man, this show's pretty fucking good. I would have never gave it a chance. If I didn't have, like, if I was a kid 
who had cable never it would have never seen another day on my tv ross rachel are they going to be together are they actually terrible for each other in a very credibly toxic relationship if you look from the outside looking in who knows yeah maybe anyway maybe i've seen i've seen worse so in real life um pick Sorry. pick one of samantha's love interests okay. smith jared mariah riez richard wright it's funny because richard wright what is the actor who played uh raiden in uh the second mortal Kombat movie the really bad one and it's funny to see him here or a guy with the funky spunk okay so uh the funny th- so okay even funnier to add on to that same actor that you're talking about Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken, what's his name? It's a uh, something. No, I completely different. Forgot the name. Anyways, um, but he did play also. If I'm not mistaken, if it's the same guy, I believe he played Ajax in the movie The Warriors, one of my favorite all all time favorite movies. So I've very, never seen it. Very old movie. He's very young. Um, I'll look it up as well while you're reading the next question. But yeah, so I'm going to go with. You him. have the answer. Okay. All right. Now, Liquid, what's your sign? I'm an Aries. Um, um, hold on, I gotta find it. Aries. Oh, Aries is the very first one. Is right. it an alphabetical Pick order? Someone... Yes. <laughs> Pick someone to get coffee with. Sanford Blanche, Eden, Anthony. Well, I don't even know. Basically, the gay best friend. That's that you could tell. I, I, you could tell they had like very like '90s gay or just like. Attic, like oh my god right. um lexi featherstone Ooh. magrid or bill kelly you said the gay guy's name was anthony right yeah that name for some reason just like speaks to me so i'm gonna like i'm gonna go with that one oh, what wow, wow. like my name is liquid Thanks. his Nothing. name's anthony you know we're moving on and finally oh by why way, are Chris, you so i'm um, sorry real quick uh, James Reamer, is this the guy that we're talking about? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's not going to show up well. Okay, it's not going to show up. I well. think it is though. The hairline. I think it is. I'll, I'll see if he's uh, if he's in Sex and the City as well. But yeah, go ahead. Okay. And finally, why are you so awesome? I'm funny. I'm pretty. I'm rich. I'm powerful. I'm fit. I'm fun. I'm chill. I'm employed. I'm alive. Ooh, it's Britney, bitch. I'm gonna go with I'm funny though. Okay. <laughs> uh, and yes, the guy was in Sex and the City, so it's, it's got to be the same guy. Who am I? You are right. You're so Carrie. The, Carrie? Oh, is that the... Oh, like the Carrie Diaries. That's the main character, right? Yeah. I, you probably think you're Samantha or Charlotte, but you're actually Carrie, a total Carrie. Try not to overthink your life too much and have some fun. You're a full-blown Carrie. World, watch the fuck out. <laughs> so it's official on the microtransaction extra episode. Girls claim to be Carrie. Liquid's an actual Carrie. Yeah, like actual, like uh. actual Carrie. They made it specific. I thought I was a Sam. I thought I was whatever the other name was. Don't remember. Don't care really. But I'm Carrie. Doesn't matter. I'm Carrie. Carrie. You're the main character, yeah. man. That's just you know. I. <sighs> I mean, I can't you know, argue you... with it. The results they speak for themselves you know this is just this is just the type of person i am why am i so happy that i called this i don't know but like i'm happy too i was legitimately shocked that face was not exaggeration the, the, i'm like he called it yeah he called the shot the, hey this is what i do I, I call my shots and i just look i just i just know who i am this is who i am you know what i'm saying like you know i know i'm a, I'm a person who knows what he likes I know who I am. I know what I am, you know. And it's just like, like, sorry, world. You know, you're gonna have to accept me for me. You know, I like me. Okay. I like how you're trying to use broad spectrum things to like describe the character, <laughs> character Carrie, but you have no idea because I have, I've, I've at least seen the first season. Okay. And um, Carrie, she's like, um, you know, she's just like, she has a little news article that she, Sex in the City. Mm-hmm. That's why the show's called Sex in the ah. City. And she tells about her tales. She's a writer and stuff like that. And it's like a whole rigmarole. The show's like, it's funny because it's, it, it's, it's funny, but boy, some shit does not age well. Like, Ooh. you could tell, like, but like, 
especially one of the gay community, they were trying to make it cool. Like, hey, guys, it's okay that he's gay, but let's orally throw, like... Like, yeah. they treat, like, gay people like an accessory. Oh, I got you. Like, oh, my gay best friend. Right, he's the add-on. Like, oh, yeah. Not, like, an actual person, human being. Just, right. like, oh, every girl needs a gay best friend. Exactly. And, like, shit like that. You're, like, Treating like, an that's object. Not... That's fucked up. That is so fucked up. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, but great. it's almost one of these things socially, if you want to get a little serious with it. Like, is this the way things have to be, like... Like, you can't ha- like, I, I think about it like an Asian culture of, like, trying to have, like, Asian men be, like, leading actors where, like, you tend to have to be good-looking and stuff. But, like, how do you get people into the avenue where getting okay where Asian people can be, like, the main actor? You make them, like, a badass kung fu guy, like, tough. But that's stereotypical, right? That would be, like, stereotype. It is. Yeah, okay, it I'm is, just want to make sure we're on the same page. It's the bridge, I mean. Right. Like, like, it sucks, but, like, it, like... I want to say it's almost necessary sure i guess so i mean even what uh, look at marvel studios they just, they released their trailer for their their first chinese superhero right and he's kung fu the fuck out so it's just like yeah yeah like uh have you ever seen crazy rich asians never i've seen parts of it though yeah, yeah it's not good at all i've heard it was good it's weird i heard it was yeah, funny i don't i yeah i heard the same thing and then i watched it and then i'm like Ouch. this is bad wow that sucks like it's just basically showing off wealth the thing is like like you were talking about the main characters like so like there's that movie that came out a few years a few years ago right two years ago maybe that movie parasite it was all all asian cash right i think they weren't doing it wasn't even in english yeah. like and that movie is done really well it's supposed to be really good right like i've never seen it myself it but maybe, maybe is. that time is like is here like or it's happening as you know what i'm saying like that they're breaking that that the the bridge. The bridge is not needed anymore. Yeah. And I, I agree. I agree with to a to a sense. Sure. And that parasite movie just came out of nowhere and all really this, did. and it's great and it's phenomenal. And like it's like wow, other people not in Hollywood can make good movies. This is crazy, and it's playing off of that novelty. Mm. And then. You know, but, like, it tells a very Asian story, and honestly, with the Academy Award, that's a whole other conversation we can have, because they are dying. Yeah. We're, we're passing the point of um, celebrity worship, I feel that. COVID has taught us that celebrities are dumb people who play pretend, and we shouldn't put them on this crazy pedestal. Because remember the when they, when, remember, with, like, the Imagine, all the people. And that's who exactly I was thinking about when you were saying that. Gal Gadot. Especially like her <sighs> getting this, like that's exactly what I was thinking. See, Gal Gadot's the only person I give the pass because anytime you ever see her in an interview, she's just like, "Oh, I love life. I am this." Like that's who she is. Sure, but it, it's just like they were talking about like because she's the one who started the whole Imagine song. Apparently, mm-hmm. it's her idea. That's by my understanding. Well, yeah. that's what it was. It was her idea, and it was just like talk about someone who's like just like not aware. Yeah, completely. Like, oh my, yeah, you can't show in your mansion how, oh, we had to stay at home and it's hard for all of us when there's people in New York City who, like, dude, I'm like, I can touch both sides of my wall. What are you talking about? Don't tell me how it's hard for you right now. Right. Right. Ugh. Just just tone deaf, like, celebrities and stuff like that. I, I, you know, it's always a shame to see because you're like, man, you you know, I'm like, because you think like no one's ever just, I wake up, I'm a famous actor. Like you had, you had to have struggle and work on your craft. Right. I'm like, where does it happen where you become so disconnected? Right. No, nah, yeah, exactly. Like, um, I mean, well, I guess there's also the, the people that, you know, their, their family's like in the industry. So they already kind of got a leg up, you know what I'm saying? Not saying they don't have to work hard for it, but they already have a leg up. But yeah, uh, like you said, I mean. It's like, at what point does, like you said, that disconnect happen? And I don't know. I, I could, I mean, I wish I, I wish I could tell you. I wish I had, I wish I could sit here and be like, yeah, dude, I went through it myself. And uh, here's where it happened. It was January 1st, 1995. Bro, bro can't you wait till the microtransaction blows up, dog, and we just forget how it is to be normal people? You know what I'm saying? Just like, oh, Oh my god. I'm like wiping my sweat off my brow with $100 bills. Like, oh god. Talk about the life. 
<laughs> oh man. interesting thing I, 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 I don't know if I said this on the podcast but or I think I was talking to Ivan about it where I saw an interview with Nick Mertz on the Daily Show like oh really yeah he was on the Daily Show and they were talking about gaming and what it did for people during COVID and causing entertainment for folks in down times and um, I, wanna, I wanted to ask you during the time of COVID bro did you pick up anything new did you try the the guitar? Yeah, that's uh that all sort of. I, I tried a few things actually. Um, the guitar was one of them. Um, that was I would say that was the the biggest one because like I and because I, I went through stages like I really wanted this guitar thing to work. So like my mm-hmm. friend uh from work he let me borrow his guitar, and his guitar was a an uh, for those who don't know there's an Amazon or on Amazon you could you could buy like guitars that are. Uh, that need to be put together. You make it yourself. Yeah, it's dope. They come with the strings. I didn't know that. They co- didn't know that even Let me get the guitar. I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you an example. I got. It. Well, I'll fill in the time. Well, for me, it was. I've talked about it on the show before. It's uh, when I started running and trying to better myself. Um, I ran the Gasparilla half, half marathon. It's a point. It's a huge point of pride with me. And I got to say that was a big thing. Just tightening up. Because uh, we all had to refocus. Now, Liquid, what's this bad boy? All right, so we got a guitar here, right? Technically, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Is like this guitar was technically broken apart. It was put together, but the company charges you a little bit more, and they'll just put it together for you. All right. Mm. So uh, my friend, he gave me his guitar that he had already put together, and um, it it didn't look like it was put together well. It wasn't really working well. I even bought new strings for it, and I just felt like it wasn't working out too well when I was using it on Rocksmith. So I went to Amazon, and I bought my own one, and I'm like, oh, I want to build it. And it came out pretty sick. Like, I painted it itself. This is not the one, by the way. Trust me, this is not it. Oh, I was going to say, like, god damn, no, bro. That one went to the trash. We'll get to there <laughs> in a second. So, yeah, like, it, so it'll come with, like, the bass, the, the, the whole bass of the guitar. This plastic thing, you'll end up, like, screwing it on yourself. Uh, the knobs are usually on it. This bracket right here, you'll put that on it. You'll usually connect the uh, the neck of the guitar, you know, with a little uh, holder there. This is where you can get into the strings as well. You you put that in as well. So all this is usually a part already, and then you have to put it in yourself. The uh, right here to like tune the guitar. These are all not there. You have to like screw them in yourself, like actually install them yourself. So um, I did it, and you know I to put hours into the guitar and just you know made it my own. I even put like right here it said liquid, like a little signature. It looked awesome. Uh, and then as soon as I put it together, it just didn't work. Uh, so yeah. So and I couldn't get it to work. And I just gave up on it, so I just threw it out. I was like, "Fuck it." Bro, yeah. I can't believe you. You shouldn't throw that out, dude. Like I had. Honestly, it. I think but everything you just said is so fascinating to me. I would have kept it on for just a learning experience. Like that, that was impressive what you just said. Like I had it <laughs> hanging on the wall for a little bit, and it just felt like at one point it was just taking up space. I'm just like, whatever. I hated the fact that it didn't work. It reminded me of a failure, and I hate having failure around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh really? Yeah. I I think I I I love having failure around me. It makes sense. Like, like I'm sure it, it, it inspires or something maybe. Mm-hmm. I I like it likes um I I've been having a big thing. Sorry to like just switch the topic on, but I know we can't even keep it fast and loose here. Yeah. Um, it just uh like I don't know. I was thinking of of today actually like uh like during the marathon. Like I, I spoke to the people while you were up real quick, and I was running, and I was like. Like just having like how how I felt so accomplished and how I could be better and that that constant like I'm I'm still dealing with the injury I got for the for the race and all that but like that like, a little bit of pain I'm proud of and it's mm-hmm. technically a failure but it's something like that that I'm like man I I didn't do this and that's why I'm hurt right. but it's, it's a constant reminder of like you know if you if you just would have done like if I would have just just did more conditioning and trained the muscle and stuff like that then I would have done even better and it's not like i'm not proud mm. i'm immensely proud i like i this this is something i'm gonna have until the wheels fall off right um but you know i just i don't know i like having that constant state of remembering and and like i was speaking to ivan about it where um like it's almost like it's almost like an enemy. I always think like I think like when you run Gasparilla, I always think of it like as a, as a combat situation. Like the race is an enemy, right. and like not respecting your enemy 
is how you get knocked out. Like, if you're like, oh, he's soft, he's a bitch, I'm going to roll over him, blah, blah, blah. And you say these things, but you don't respect his right hook. Right. You're going to get caught with that right hook. Yeah. So same same thing goes with sports teams as well. You figure you mm-hmm. you underestimate the team, and next thing you know, you leave getting swept or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I agree. I think it does different things for different people. Me personally, it's just like, like it was just a, a reminder that it's just like I did something and I and I it didn't work out, you know, and I couldn't stand sit, seeing it there. And then like the because like the the goal wasn't to put together the guitar. The goal was to try to learn how to play guitar. And the longer it took me to put this guitar together, try to get it to work, was taking up time for me trying to learn it, which is ultimately what I was trying to do. You get okay. what I'm saying? So instead, I went ahead and I just went, uh, there was a, a sale, I guess a quarantine sale, I don't know what you would want to call it, on Amazon. And this one already pre-built was available for like way cheaper. It came with a carrying case, came with a, uh, a pick, it came with a whammy bar and everything. I took. Yeah, so I bought this and then I've been starting, I've been learning on this ever since. And I've gotten a little bit better at it. Still not confident where I would want to be, but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. this is this was my quarantine project. Hmm. So, do you, is it something that has, has stuck with you, or like is it like a little hobby here and there? Like, is it, or become a little hobby here and there? Like, I haven't picked it up in a while. Every now and then, when I have nothing to do, I like I'll look in the corner. I'm just like, ooh. Do I want to I want to tickle the, the 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 strings a little bit and I'm just like and then I'll like I'm like hmm I don't know uh, or a lot of times that like right now the Steam sale is going on uh, a lot of times Rocksmith will have songs on sale that's Bon Jovi pack I might have to double down on that so yeah oh. that's another thing is that uh, that's another part of the inspiration because like Rocksmith has so many songs like you think Rockman had a lot of songs dude Rocksmith is freaking pouring with songs dude and it's just like I'll buy a new song just to try it out and play it a little bit and yeah. Yeah, that's another thing about uh, during our E3 coverage that I feel like got rolled over with all the news. But Rocksmith and the stuff they're doing with the app and all that stuff, I'm like, dude, it just shows the wealth of video games. Oh, yeah. Like, now thinking about it, I was like, man, if we had two honorable mentions, we would cheat it like we would have did that one time. <laughs> you know, I'm like, maybe I would have gave my extra, now that I think about it, I'm like, I would have gave it to Rocksmith because I feel that it shows the, the wealth of video games. Yeah. No, and they definitely brought it. I, I, like, well, Ubisoft uh, technically brought it. Um, you know, not as much as some of the other, as you know, your Xbox and your Nintendo, but Ubisoft as a as a you know as a publisher. You know, what I'm saying, yeah. obviously they're not going to be as big as you know Xbox, you know, a studio or who owns studios. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, I don't know. Um, it's the yeah they're doing some different things. I love the fact that they're just adding on to it. They haven't given up on it. I think that's amazing, especially with how mm-hmm. old it is. Um, you know, this thing's been going on since Xbox 360. Uh, so it's just like, and it keeps going. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like... That's so cool. Yeah, the fact that they keep supporting it, and now with the app, you can use acoustic guitars. You don't even need the USB for electrical guitars. It just uses your phone to listen to the gu- like the guitar sounds and lets you know if it's... That's pretty rad. Correctly. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty deep, man. I like that. It's pretty next-gen, pretty, pretty radical. Yeah. <laughs> radical. So, well, I guess we'll wrap it up. I guess we'll end it on that radical Oof. note. Alright, well guys, thank you so much for this episode of The Extra. Um, we love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting us in our dreams. And uh, we love you so much. We love you. Yeah. And if, like, I, I know on Patreon, I think you can write comments. What was your... You want? What was your uh, COVID and panoramic... Uh, project that you took and and if you had any or maybe something you wanted to try and you haven't and maybe you still want to do now mm. just know yeah. alright guys well I gotta say peace love that good stuff guys we will talk to you next time